analyze it, what Wisconsin has done over time, what would you say is the secret to what you know? Well, I think they've had some consistency in their offensive side of the ball for sure, and, and, you know, um, and they've re they've recruited to what they want to run, their system they want to run, and um, um, you know, they, they Madison's a pretty attractive place. It's got great tradition, and um, you know they they they've been able to recruit some really good players. They've been able to kind of keep it going by that. You know, having that quarterback come in there this year has added the, the dynamic of being able to throw the ball and the play action and all that stuff. And um, so, I mean, they're they're obviously the real deal. So I mean, at this point in the season, you, if you're rated in the top ten statistically, it isn't by accident. You know, week two, week three, week four, maybe even through week five, six, seven, maybe. But now at this point in the season, if you're if you're then you've done something over time and you've done it and you've proven yourself somewhat. So uh, uh, how much is this carry over from Alvarez? Do you think? Well, it's probably a great deal. You know, I'm sure that uh, that's part of what happened at Michigan when Rich Rod went in there and tried to change the way they'd done things for years. Not people weren't in, in big favor of it. And um, you know, when you when you have that tradition, you know, when you people think of the Big Ten, they think of Woody Hayes and, and Bo Schembechler and and fullbacks and big tight ends and big offensive linemen and hitting you in the mouth. And, and you know, obviously Wisconsin gives you that, but Wisconsin can also spread it out and flash you to death and, and get the ball out to their receivers too. They need to play against them, and uh, hopefully our players have our same. Enthusiasm about about going up against them, and you know you, you, you never go into a fight expecting to lose. And we, we you may get your nose bloodied in that fight, but you don't ever go into any battle expecting to not win. That's that's not what it's about. What were some of the things Ohio State did that they were effective against them? Uh, their their players beat Wisconsin's player. <laughs> that was pretty much it. It wasn't it wasn't any revolutionary. Things they ran their defense, so and they were able to cover the receivers, which took away their passing game a lot. And then they were able to load the box because they were, you know, because they locked down the receivers. You didn't see Wisconsin last year, you know, though he has played it for a while. But what, a, how much of a difference does Russell Wilson make in that offense? Well, what he does is it gives them uh, the threat of the pass. I mean, I think what last week he's 14 for 16 or something crazy like that. Um, and he throws darts. I mean, you have to you have to put the film on slow to watch the ball. And it's zoop, and uh, you know they got good receiving core, and they throw the ball well. And uh, obviously, there's only been one team, which was Ohio State, that's held them under 200 yards rushing. And, um, they heck of running back, which they usually do. And not, you know, if not the biggest, one of the biggest offensive lines on the face of the earth. So uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a great challenge for our guys.